It's extreme physics. And tonight, our contestants will try to lift 10,000 pounds. They are Dennis from Dremore, Kevin from Kidi, and Harriet from Hamiltonsborn. And here is your host, Isaac Neutron. Good evening, all. We have a real treat for you tonight. It's all about electromagnetism, and here's our very own magnetic personality, Dr. Rula. Thanks, Isaac. Today, we will be investigating the factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet. Well, maybe you and I can see if opposites really do attract. But for now, Dr. Rula, the magnetic field is all yours. Thank you, Isaac. For this experiment, we will use a one meter length of insulated wire, an iron nail, a variable power supply, a milliameter, connecting leads, crocodile clips, a retort stand, a boss and clamp, some paper clips, and equal lengths of copper, steel, and wood. Wind the insulated wire tightly around the nail to make an electromagnet. Set up the equipment as shown, clamping the electromagnet to the retort stand. Switch on the power supply and set the current to 200 milliamps. Record this current in a table. Count the maximum number of the paper clips the electromagnet holds and record in a table. Repeat this process, increasing the current in steps of 200 milliamps up to 1000 milliamps. Count the maximum number of paper clips the electromagnet holds each time. Do not exceed a current of 1000 milliamps to prevent the coil from overheating. This could damage the electromagnet and cause burns. Plot a graph of number of paper clips on the y axis against current on the x axis. The graph is a straight line through the origin. As the current increases, the number of paper clips held by the magnet increases in direct proportion. To explore how the number of coils affects the magnet, we can keep the current constant and increase the number of coils wrapped around the nail. As we increase the number of coils by a regular amount, we can record the number of paper clips the magnet will hold. As we increase the number of coils, the strength of the magnet increases. To investigate how the core material affects the strength of the magnet, use the same electromagnet with a current of 600 milliamps. Count the number of paper clips held when the nail is swapped with equal lengths of copper, steel, wood and air. The results show that the steel and iron cores make the strongest electromagnets. The soft iron core makes the electromagnet temporary. It can easily be switched on and off. The steel core makes the electromagnet more permanent. Rula, that was delightful as ever. But now it's time to play Extreme Physics. So in our studio, we have our own giant Extreme Physics electromagnet and below it is a safe containing 10,000 one pound coins. Watch the current rise in the power source. When you think the magnet will be strong enough, just hit your buzzer to close the circuit and activate the magnet. If the safe goes up, you win an Extreme Physics fridge magnet and mini fridge. It's gonna be nail biting so ruler any advice well the save is heavy but we have a serious amount of wire wrapped around that giant nail trust your instincts and go for it Three, two, one, go! well kevin enjoy your prize so it's good night from everyone here at Extreme Physics. And remember, if it ain't fun, it's physics!